there. Welcome to Elite Weather Forecasting. My name is Julie Godot here with you once again with the third video of the day. And we're going to be talking about that national weather forecast. So let's jump right into it right now. And what we're seeing here, we do have some severe weather that we're going to continue with here through parts of uh, the central plains here. We're going to be seeing some severe weather right here. And that primary threat is going to be for some very heavy rainfall that could cause some flash flooding, some hail and damaging winds. And the tornado threat is going to be low, and there's going to be a couple of other areas here of some severe weather that we're going to be seeing here across the northern plains and the northern Rockies right here where we can see a little bit of severe weather. And that primary threat is going to be hail and some damaging wind gusts and some flash flooding because heavy rain is going to be the primary issue with these areas of severe weather. And we got some more severe weather sort of to speak of here through the four corner states as we have that monster some moisture in place right now and there are numerous showers and thunderstorms through the Rockies and the desert southwest down there through parts of Arizona and New Mexico especially are seeing a lot of heavy rainfall that's going to go cause some flash flooding through the lower lower canyons and passes over the next several days and we're going to see those showers and storms here along the Gulf Coast through Florida and up the East Coast because of this cold front right here that's going to extend here to the central plain states where it's going to team up with this area of low pressure and we got a secondary cold front here down across the desert southwest and uh, old mexico and all of this together is going to make that heat confined between this guy here we have this front this front and we have the heat and humidity in this section where we're going to see isolated thunderstorms triple digit heat as well temperatures in excess of 100 through a wide swath of areas here and we're going to see isolated thunderstorms as well so some of you guys might find a little bit of relief if you get a thunderstorm but remind you remember this stuff here is going to be isolated and very far in between those showers and storms so it's going to be isolated small showers not i'm not going to depend on that to find relief from the heat but if you do get a good one good for you but in the meantime you're going to be baking and sweltering out there if you're south of this frontal boundary here we're going to see scattered showers and storms for the most part and we're going to be seeing we're going to be seeing um warm weather conditions in the 90s dew points in the 60s so it's going to be a little bit sticky here across the upper midwest and for your Thursday out there for your evening tonight, you might see an isolated shower or thunderstorm as well if you're out here in this part. But we're going to definitely be seeing that severe weather there and some heavy rainfall. It's going to really be the biggest issue with this severe weather is heavy rain and some gusty winds as those big storms roll in. If you are going to be in the path of one of those severe storms and you might pick up a few hail pellets as well but that's what that severe weather is going to look like this afternoon and evening and as we move into your friday then that severe weather gets a little bit more intense here across the northern plains so through parts of minnesota north and south dakota and even nebraska you might see that severe weather for your Friday. So we got to, we're going to see that heavy rainfall is that primary concern. It's just going to rain hard and it's going to rain a lot and that flooding is going to be an issue and you might see some gusty winds as those storms roll in. So out ahead of those storms, you're going to see that damaging wind and they could hit as high as 70 miles per hour and some hail is going to be possible from some of those storms as well and an isolated tornado certainly down here through parts of South western Minnesota and southeastern South Dakota so if you're in this area here you might see uh, a tornado or two spin up as well but in the meantime for the most part isolated to scatter showers and storms here through much of the upper Midwest and the upper Mississippi Valley into the northern and high plains here the Rockies we're going to see that monsoon moisture continue in place here through the four corners down through Arizona and New Mexico especially where we can see those gully washers once again 
those isolated heavy thunderstorms that's going to drop uh, heavy amounts of rain from the mountains down into the deserts there. So a lot of runoff from some of those thunderstorms through some of our burn areas. We just had a couple of large fires there. So there's a lot of damage to the earth in that rainfall. It's not going to be able to absorb, so it's going to run off. So a lot of flash flooding issues there through the four corner states. We're going to be seeing our isolated weather here across the southeast, isolated to scattered thunderstorms as well, as long as as well as that heat and humidity. Those t temperatures will exceed 100 degrees if you're here in this region. So here through Oklahoma, southern Kansas, Texas, all of Texas, we got Louisiana, southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, southern um, Georgia, Florida, and South Carolina. If you are south of this here and this front and all through this area here, you are going to be dealing with that heat and humidity. Pay attention to that. It is going to be hot. Do what you can to make yourself comfortable because if you are south of this front, that heat and humidity is going to be oppressive. All right, so here is your Saturday. It's not going to be any better as far as the heat and humidity. In fact, it is going to be worse because now we have a warm front extending from Minnesota down through the Mississippi Valley to the Gulf Coast where we have this cold front going offshore. And if you are south in this region, right in here, Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, if you're in any of those states, triple digit heat for your Saturday dew points near or higher than 70 degrees some of you here if you are along this front right here on saturday you might see a thunderstorm or two that might give you some relief with some rainfall but again this might be a problem here that rainfall on saturday because some of it's going to be really heavy and you're going to have flash flood issues here if you are in this region on saturday so we are talking southwestern kansas western oklahoma northwest texas and northeastern new mexico and southeastern um, uh, colorado so you will be seeing uh, the potential for flash flooding and excessive rainfall with that moisture from those monsoons and those cold frontal boundaries that is in the area down there across the southwest and the southern plains. My name is Dula Godot and that is your three-day forecast. Now here's our temperatures and we're going to be seeing, I'm going to show you, we're going to go through this real quick. So since we talked about it a lot, you see those triple digits? Right in here, boom. See that? Hot, hot, hot. Very hot. A lot of humidity. Really high dew points from Florida here through Carolina all the way along the Gulf Coast into Texas and the Central and Southern Plains. You see those triple digits. Again, Friday, boom. It gets worse. It doesn't get any better for you. We are talking right here from Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, and Georgia. We're talking a triple digit heat all the way across and excessive humidity. So not very pleasant weather for you across the southeast and the south central plains over the next several days. Now Saturday, you're going to get a little bit of relief here across the Central Plains. A little bit. If that frontal boundary is going to just start to move east a little bit. So those temperatures are going to move a little bit east, but come up a little bit into the Mississippi Valley here. So we got the mid-Mississippi Valley into the Corn Belt region here. We're talking parts of uh, Indiana and Illinois, Iowa, Missouri, our Corn Belt here. So we're going to start to see those upper 90s. Those 100s try to trickle in, but those triple digits are going to remain entrenched here across Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. So you guys are going to remain triple digits and those oppressive dew points. So that is the look at the three-day weather forecast and the not-so-pleasant news about the heat and humidity across the south-central U.S., 
it's not going to get any better over the next several days. I'm hoping maybe uh, into next week, but right now you guys have a pretty miserable weekend in store for you as far as the heat and humidity down there across Texas, especially and Oklahoma. My prayers go out to you guys, and you know what to do to try to keep cool. Remember, drink plenty of fluids. Don't do yard work in the middle of the day. Do it early, early, early in the morning, right around sunrise. And don't um, leave kiddos in the car, your pets in the car. Leave them at home. Leave them with grandma so you can have somebody watch over them if you got to leave the house. So do what you can to beat the heat out there. And if you're going to, um, this time, I say it's a blessing if you're going to receive a shower or storm this weekend. Unless you're going to be in the southwest where you can get too much rainfall in too short of a period of time in some of those areas where we could deal with flash flooding. My name is Dooley Godot. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys tomorrow at the, with the next weather forecast update. Thanks for watching. Leave your likes, comments, and subscribe to the channel. See you tomorrow. Bye.